Hello, friends. It is estimated that wild boars' numbers are increasing by 15 to 20 percent each year, causing unimaginable damage due to Australia's nature and agriculture. Australian farmers have developed a method of using airplanes to hunt wild boars. In this video, we will clarify for you the best wild boar hunts in Australia. So please, don't forget to share, like and subscribe right now. Now let's get this video started. The Australian law allows hunting of wild boars year-round, and it is estimated that nearly one million animals are hunted each year. Unfortunately, this is not enough. Even though environmentalists and hunters are hunting about 30% of the population in New South Wales every year, but wild boar numbers are still increasing by 20% each year. Biologists and wildlife managers estimate that 70% would have to be captured each year just to maintain the population. The wild boar is a large, ferocious animal, very intelligent and reproduces exponentially. These characteristics mean that the conventional population control methods simply do not have any practical results leaving hunting as the only viable alternative. The cost of renting a plane to hunt wild boars is quite expensive, so choosing a location to hunt wild boars is very important. New South Wales, the largest state in Australia, boasts a diverse landscape spanning 503 square miles. The terrain is mountainous areas, vast plains, deserts, and coastal areas, providing diverse habitats for wildlife, including the infamous wild boars. Embarking on an adrenaline-fueled adventure across the skies of New South Wales, where seasoned hunters tackle the challenge of controlling wild boar populations to preserve the state's diverse ecosystem. The mountainous regions of New South Wales are prime habitat for wild boars. These creatures thrive in dense forests, bushes, and areas with a lot of vegetation. In these areas, wild boars are quite large in size. However, it is difficult to detect them. Helicopters need to fly low in dense wooded areas to scare away wild boars. The wind force of the propeller will help the trees move, so the wild boars will be scared and moved to another area. You need to shoot them down quickly to be able to kill one at a time. This hunting skill needs a lot of practice. In swampy areas, visibility is clearer, making it very easy to kill these wild boars. Let's continue moving to the plains and grass fields. This is also one of the areas where the most wild boars can be harvested. They will eat grass and vegetables here. The helicopter will gradually move down when wild boars are detected. If you fly too low, trees can easily be damaged. That's why a pilot is a very important person. The moving speed and the flexibility of the directions also greatly evaluates the harvested productivity. 
Hunters will always be in a position to hunt wild boars when spotting wild boars in the field. Quickly point your hunting tools and shoot. The accuracy rate is 70% each time. When wild boars escape the first shot, they will turn in another direction and run away. At this time, you need to be flexible in flying the helicopter to chase. This problem is quite difficult for beginners sometimes. It is necessary to learn a lot to have high skills in aerial hunting of wild boars. This herd of wild boars is moving to find shelter in the desert. Can you guess how many miles or hours they have to travel for? The helicopter kept chasing them. Each time the hunter kills one of them. This job seems very simple. They move through every stream in this area. And in the end, the entire herd of wild boars was shot down without missing a single one. Around the East, Australian flow areas, there are many wild boars. They often run in herds. This group of hunters chose the right location and harvested a lot in one day. Look at how slow the helicopter is moving. They are observing and continuing to search for wild boars. Another group of wild boars appeared. The battle was not over yet. Will they be able to escape in the forest in time? In just a few seconds, the helicopter got up. If you pay attention, on the surface of these sand beaches, there are many wild boars' footprints. These areas need more careful observation. In the fields, what is it like to hunt wild boars by helicopters? Wild boars are easy to find. They can move alone or in groups to feed. Their movement speed will be slower because there are a lot of trees. Wild boar hunting in these areas are easiest among all types of terrains. Do you think like me? Each wild boar was shot down as they were moving? It is estimated that every day a helicopter can catch about 200 to 600 wild boars. The cost of renting a helicopter here ranges from $2,000 to $5,000. So if you took the helicopter for one day, that'll be such a high number. The real question is, is this money worth spending? According to the Australian Department of Agriculture, Water and Environment, the number of wild boar captured annually in South Wales ranges from 50,000 to 100,000, reflecting ongoing efforts to manage wild boar populations. Controlling the wild boar populations in Australia is one of the top priorities of the Australian government. Are you participating in these hunting processes? Please comment below to let us know right now. So the real question is, how did the US farmers and hunters deal with the invasive wild boar populations using helicopters? Let's continue watching the rest of the video to know exactly how. Wild boars powerful wild animals are capable of causing a lot of damage to crops and people's property. Wild boar attacks on crop farms in the U.S. are becoming increasingly serious, especially in recent years 
when the number of wild boars in the United States is increasing rapidly. To cope with this situation, American farmers and hunters have applied many different measures. One of the most traditional and effective measure is hunting. The hunter skill and knowledge of how to approach and handle wild boars has played an important role in controlling wild boar numbers and reducing damage caused to farms. However, faced with the rapid increase in wild boar numbers, more effective measures are needed. In addition to hunting, a new method has been applied in some areas in the United States, which is the use of aircraft to monitor and control wild boars. This is a challenging but potentially effective measure to reduce wild boar numbers and protect crop farms. The combination of traditional measures and a new method could help the United States deal with the growing problem of wild boar attacks on agricultural farms. The first step in wild boar hunting is to hire a suitable aircraft to carry out the task Hunters often choose between helicopters and propeller planes, each with its own advantages. Helicopters are a popular choice due to their ability to fly lower and more flexible. They help hunters easily access hunting areas and observe wild boars from a vantage point. This aircraft is often used in areas with complex terrain and requires flexibility during hunting. Propeller aircraft. They're faster and also capable of moving quickly between hunting areas. This helps hunters to quickly deal with wild boars moving or spotted in different locations. After renting a suitable plane, the hunter gets on the plane and flies to the hunting area. Before taking off, they thoroughly check safety equipment and hunting gear to make sure everything is working properly. When arriving at the hunting area, hunters use scopes to search for wild boars. Wild boars often gather in areas with lots of food and water, such as rice fields, corn fields, or forests with streams. However, it is often easier to find wild boars in crop fields than in fairly open and dense forested areas. In rice fields, hunters have wider vision and can easily observe wild boars from afar. This is where wild boars often appear to search for food, such as corn seeds and other rice plants. When hunters notice a wild boar in the field, they can approach cautiously to shoot it. However, the most difficult situation for hunters is when they have to search for wild boars in dense forest areas or with more complex terrain. In these cases, wild boars may hide in the forest and use the terrain for cover and protection from hunting. Hunters will have to rely on their scope and observation skills to identify wild boar attacks and signs, such as tracks, feeding areas, or footprints. 
When a wild boar is detected, the hunter informs the pilot and together they fly to the wild boar's location. Then, the hunter uses a hunting gun to shoot down the target animal. Typically, wild boars are shot from the back of the head or the neck to ensure the kill is quick and effective. The average range of a helicopter when hunting is about 750 feet. That means the helicopter can hit targets 750 feet away. However, it should be noted that hunting wild boar by plane has its own advantages and disadvantages. Although this method allows hunters to access areas that are difficult to reach by road and can hunt many wild boars in a short time, it also has high costs and can be dangerous for people and other animals in the area. According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, in 2023, hunters in the U.S. will hunt about 1 million boars. However, this data may vary by time and specific region. Wild boars attacks on crop farms are occurring in many areas of the United States, especially in the eastern and southern states. The rapid increase in the number of wild boar requires the use of objective measures to control the situation. And hunting by aircraft has become a useful method in the fight against attacks by the species. Wild boar, a large mammal, are becoming a serious problem in Canada, causing significant damage to both the environment and the country's economy. According to estimates by Agriculture Canada, wild boars causes economic losses of up to one billion each year. They are omnivorous, often invasive and eat many important crops, including wheat, corn, soybeans and vegetables. According to estimates, wild boars destroy about 1 million hectares of crops each year. In addition, wild boars also cause a serious damage to the ecosystem. They dig in the ground, destroying the habitat of other animals, and can be hosts to infectious diseases, threatening both humans and the wildlife. The increase in the wild boar populations has created a dangerous state for the natural ecosystem. The Canadian government has taken many measures to control the wild boar population, hunting, trapping and building fences. However, these measures are still not effective enough to prevent the increase of wild boars. And in 2020, wild boars even attacked a campsite 
in the province of Ontario, injuring one person. The Canadian government is continuing efforts to control wild boar populations to reduce economic losses and protect the environment. However, this problem is still requiring greater attention and efforts from both society and government agencies to find more effective solutions in wild boar management in Canada. With their omnivorous ability and strong adaptability, they cause significant damage. Therefore, to solve this problem, we need to apply a series of effective measures. One of the biggest problems wild boars causes is encroachment of food resources. They eat everything from crops to fruit and small animals. Therefore, reducing food resources for them is an important measure to control wild boar populations. This can be done by protecting growing areas and harvesting crops early to avoid their destruction. The agricultural products that they like to eat may be harvested earlier than expected. In addition, Propaganda about the harmful effects of wild boars on the environment and economy is also an important part of the control strategy. Raising people's awareness of the situation and how to prevent their intrusion can help create initiative in protecting the environment. However, to solve this problem comprehensively, research and development of more effective wild boar control measures, especially biological measures, are needed. Understanding the behavior and ecology of the species will help us design more effective control measures. In addition to the measures mentioned above, additional measures are needed to deal with wild boars. Increasing patrols and controlling areas at risk of their intrusion is the way to prevent the spread of wild boars. At the same time, strong monitoring to detect wild boar herds early and that has to be applied in residential areas, applying the practice of planting plants that are unpleasant to wild boars as a smart strategy to ensure community safety. By planting plants that are unpleasant to wild boars, we create an unfamiliar zone for them. This may include the use of plants with strong aromas or flavors. This is not only a simple measure, but also an effective measure in preventing the intrusion of wild boars into human habitation areas. However, it is also important to note that the tree planting is only one part of the overall strategy. In addition, cleaning up trash and food is important to avoid attracting wild boars near habitats. So since these solutions have been affecting in preventing the growth of colonies of some invasive species, 
Do you believe in any other better solution? If so, please don't forget to share your comments and opinions down below. Plus, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to support our channel with our upcoming videos. And lastly, don't forget to share this video with all your friends so that they can watch it and enjoy it as well.